it's amazing because we don't generally spend too much foot time on foot with giraffe and normally because they're quite sort of shy they tend to move off a little bit and they're not really interested in sticking around look at the little baby looking at us the baby's just not too sure about this it's kind of following the lead of everybody else but it's not convinced that it should be sitting so close to whatever's lying on the road the two young ones together there So, Crispin, you're wondering, is it true if the baby will retain some pattern from the mom? Well, in my experience, no. I've never actually noticed that. It might be possible, but I've never read anything about it. I've never seen it in real life, so I don't think so. Um, it could be possible, but I really, really don't think so. Um, they tend to all have very unique patterns. You can see these two young ones, they have got the, a very different pattern to even that female on the left. Now I'm sure that female on the left is the mother of one of these and the patterning on her is a really darker, you can see on her sort of chest area that it's quite sort of block-like pattern, or not block-like, so they're very irregular pattern, sorry, whereas the, the little one to the right of her has got more block-like patterns, so it doesn't look at all similar. So I don't think so. Um, I've never, like I say, noticed it, and I've never read anything about it, so I don't think that is true. But you see, they're actually starting to ruminate now, so they're actually quite comfortable with us being here. They're not too worried that we're sitting here. If they were worried, you'd find they wouldn't be feeding at all, so even though they are watching they're still regurgitating balls and are happy enough to start chewing and watch us while they do that it is an advantage that prey animals do have so a lot of the prey animals are ruminating animals and so for those of you who don't know what ruminating is ruminating is basically an animal that has a four chambered stomach that is able to regurgitate the food that it's previously fed on so if they've eaten leaves early hours of this morning they're now regurgitating those balls of leaves out of the stomach and they're then chewing them to process that leaf even more and the reason why they do that is because a giraffe being the sort of shape that it is its body is actually quite small its legs and neck are very very big but its body is quite small so it doesn't have a huge space in there for a large sort of vat like stomach that you would see on something like an elephant or a buff um a hippo and so what it has to do is it has to be able to maximize every bit of nutrients out of what it does feed on and so this system allows them to regurgitate and reach you and maximize all the nutrients out of that leaf what it also allows is for them to spend less time feeding it means they can spend time like this where they can watch a potential predator but still gain nutrients from it and keep themselves alive so it's a very effective system if you're a prey species now we're going to sit and enjoy these giraffe and spend some more time with them because this is just absolutely fantastic and sitting on a road watching giraffe in the morning is really something that is quite special and while we do that i believe jamie is still on cheetah plains and she doesn't have a predator this time but she does have one of the most beautiful antelope in africa